Who is OK Kaya? OK Kaya is a music project. <laughs> I spend most mornings trying to get over myself. Moving from Norway to America was super different. I always found Norway really small and homogenous and and now I really like it. It's beautiful, but I always wanted to live in a big city. Our mom is a painter. She just is obsessed with music. My dad, I think he used to like live in New York and try to do Broadway shows and shit, but not anymore. Now he's, um, he writes government policy for the United States of America. So a lot of my influences just comes from just being in a house that is uh, had a lot of music. When I was younger, she would sing songs to me before I went to sleep. So I was always for, uh, thought of her like as a musician. Yeah, I like making music too. Me and some friends make uh, like try to make some rap songs. Yeah. They're not that good, but You're yeah, good. I just try to make some beats. I let like two years of recording go. So I recorded a bunch when I first like released Damn Gravity and the first singles with like different producers, but it's all kind of favors and not a lot of studio time. And after a while, I just decided to start doing it myself. And then my boyfriend Aaron joined and we produced a bunch of stuff together. Doing it felt like the most natural thing ever. I didn't know that recording my songs with him would feel like that, but it's just felt really natural. It's nice to be able to like jump out of bed at 4 a.m. and like run to the microphone and record like a, a vocal take. Just took a long while to know what I wanted to do and also do it in the way that I wanted to do it. I'm quite stubborn, so I'm frustrated a lot because things don't work out according to plan, like ever. We shot IUD and Dance Like You over the course of two days. There's a twin born out of trauma. It becomes the physical embodiment of it. And it's just like how they interact in the private and public space. I wrote it last year when I was considering getting an IUD. And in this current political climate, it's hard for some people to like get the sexual health care that, that they need here, and I'm mad about that, and so I wrote about it. The goal is to someday write a song that is as good as a happy song, just to find, or to feel that happy about something. So I guess I will probably write sad songs for a while. It's just how I cope with things. Come with me to get